hello, 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 everyone, and welcome back to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming. Thank you so much for joining me today in Meeple Station. Today is the day everyone has been waiting for. Our hyperdrive is built, and we are ready to go ahead and make the jump. So let's hop on down to the main floor, and you can see it is charged up and ready to go. So let's go ahead and initiate the hyper jump. This will take you to a random system. It could be dangerous. Are you sure? Heck yes, let's go ahead and make the jump. Act two, okay, the story continues for our meeples in Meeple Station, and we are going to run Gora. I can hear the snoring in the background. All right, we are here. Station is still in one piece. A giant leap. We've safely disengaged the superluminal ingress drive and have arrived in run Gora system, Captain. We just traveled 32 light years nearly instantaneously, Feather. I know, Captain. It's kind of blowing my mind a lot. We've just traveled farther than any Meeple alive. Alive? Yes. Though this was apparently fairly routine 1,400 years ago. That's true. Still mind-blowing, sir. I agree. For the moment, though, Feather, gather up your mind pieces and give me a status report, please. Mm, yes, Captain. Sorry, Captain. Tooth One Station is currently stable in stable orbit around Rungora AC. The other stations appear to have also made it here safely as well. The Lokov Initiative is stable orbit of Rungora AC1. Pickle and Pickaxe Mining Company is currently orbiting Rungora AC2. And vigorously applied scientists is around Rungora AC3. Everyone seems to made it here all right. Yes, that is good news indeed. Indeed, sir. Engineering reports the SI drive has safely cooled down and powered off. Station integrity is good. Fleet integrity is good. Medical reports that several crew members are experiencing nausea and vertigo-like symptoms after the jump, though the doctor is saying nothing severe and all is well in hand. That is good to hear. If I'm being honest, the jump left me feeling a little queasy too. Me too, Captain. It's an unnatural sensation. Engineering just gave us the okay to resume nor normal station activities. We should probably get our miners working on the nearby asteroids and send some scout ships out looking around for good sources of essential resources like ice. Building a dedicated mining ship would also extend our reach in terms of resources. Resources, excuse me. That's good advice, Feather. The Science Wing is also asking for you to look through their potential research projects. Lastly, sensors are reporting several objects in orbit around a few of the planets and moons around Rungora system with a composition of not naturally occurring varieties. Hard to know exactly what without having a closer look. Interesting. All right, let's get to work then. Okay, so we have made the jump to the Rungora system. Looks like everyone is still alive. Our objective is to continue scouting the system for clues. So let's go ahead and go down to our ship with Marimba, still as the pilot, and we will launch him... Yeah, let's go ahead and re scout AC4. It's not that far away, so he can go start that, and off he goes. Goodbye, Marimba. Let's go ahead and also charge our drive, just in case we need it for an emergency jump. Researching, we can get body armor, improve botany, education 2, efficiency 2, the albatross, which is the bigger ship, trade agreements, and teleporter networks. All right, so let's go ahead and select body armor because that looks like that'll be a quick and easy research project since they did recommend getting a, a couple ships going oh we are out of power unidentified floating object tooth one station this is the finch over go ahead the finch um out here at the object it's ripped apart it's a ripped apart ship captain unknown pattern kind of looks similar to some of the architecture on the derelict in Verico, but much smaller similar to a Savini Albatross class shuttle in size. The whole wreck is covered in what I can only describe as looking very concerningly like laser burns. That is very concerning. Yeah, it's pretty wrecked, but I can see some useful salvage floating around there. I'll collect what I can and bring it home. Sounds good, the Finch. See you then. All right, so it sounds like he found something out there. And let's go ahead and get the game running again. Our drive is charging, so it looks like we... Got quite a bit to charge. Uh, where's our power at? We do not have a lot of power. So let's go ahead and expand our solar panel here a little bit. It's telling me there's no power, no power. All right, so we got plenty of aluminum. We'll need to make sure we have more glass on hand and plenty of electronics. 
So let's go ahead and extend one there, and we'll extend one there, and we'll extend that there. Now before we made the jump, I did take Toothbud off as being a miner, so let's get him back as a miner, and Hacksaw was off as engineer. Basically, I didn't want them outside when we jumped because you can leave people behind. Technically guessed. Man, we are just having so much stuff today. Commander Toothbud, you're not going to believe this, but our, your scanners are detecting a group of some sort of life forms converging on the station. They seem to bear some resemblance to the appearance of something like a cephalopod, only about a half meter in size and brightly colored. This can't be possible. How can any living life form survive in open space? What do we do? Well, Commander, honestly, this is unprecedented. Let me get a dialogue going with our xenobiology department and get back to you. For right now, observe their behaviors. Let's hope they aren't dangerous. Copy that, Director. So it sounds like we've got some um, squids, octopuses coming our way. Oh, uh, man, we make this one little jump and uh, lots of things are going on. So Hacksaw is going to get out there and expand our uh, solar panel and the finch is back. Tooth One Station, we may have a huge problem on our hands. Man, they just keep coming and going. Uh, I loaded up the salvage and set course back to the station. Once I fired up my engines and started on course home, my sensors picked up an object moving out of the debris field and matching my speed and tra trajectory. Something is following you? Yes, sir. It's not a random chance either. I'm reading clear drive signatures and it's moving with purpose. It's not as fast as a finch, but but even if I broke off now, it's already clocked my return trajectory straight back to Tooth One Station. I'm sorry, Captain, but I may have put the station in danger. You couldn't have known there was anything out there, Marimba. Have you tried hailing it? I have, Captain, several times. No answers. Wait, one, the finch. We're going to try it from here. We have a craft on our scope, Captain. I will open the channel for you, sir. Thank you, Feather. Unidentified floating object with a lot of static and dead air. This is Tooth One Station to the unidentified vessel on intercept course. Repeat, unidentified vessel, respond immediately or your actions will be considered hostile. And we got some uh, Cree to D, Cree to D, Cree Muda D, Cree Alumum Dim Chaff. Channel cuts. That didn't sound good at all. Captain, the vessel is accelerating. Get the finch back on our comms. I'm here, Captain. Their drive signatures just went really hot, sir. Marimba, get back here as fast as you can. Full speed. Don't spare the fuel. Don't have to tell me twice, Captain. End transmission. Exo Feather, we have a serious problem. Agreed, sir. What are your orders? To construct defenses on the stations if we make it through whatever is about to happen. Uh, your Exo nods and looks anxiously to the sensor council. So it might not hurt for us to turn some people into a guard. So let's go ahead and find who has a good guard skill was it boysenberry no boysenberry wasn't it uh we could turn vacuum into a guard uh who else could be as a guard it might just be vacuum that's going to be our best shot all right so it's going to be halibut and vacuum so let's scroll on down to guard and then we will also turn him to guard. So we got two guards ready to go. Wait for your scout to return home. Let's go ahead and turn off the jump drive so it's not absorbing any power. Here comes the uh, the cephalopods out there. They are blue squid, red squid. It says they're neutral stance. That's okay. Okay, so we got two guards. So I'm feeling a lot better. And a squid just came on board. Hello, little friend. Where'd you go? There he is, just crawling around. The finch is rolling in. So that means that other ship should be not far behind it. Let's go ahead and see what we can get from the Cove Initiative. All right, unidentified floating object. The finch is back at dock, sir. The hostile vessel has diverted its course and came to a stop about a kilometer off the station. What is it doing? I don't know, Feather. It's accelerating again back towards the direction it came from, sir. I don't under... Oh, no. Looks at sensor. Sir, three smaller contacts broke off the craft while it was stopped, and they're on intercept court for the station. I see it, Feather. Life signs. We're about to be boarded. Captain, I don't know if our security staff is going to be enough. We need to choose some of the crew and manually change their jobs to guard while we're under attack. We're going to need all the help we can get. Use the rally command to tell the guards where to respond and to evacuate the room of non-combatants. 
Quick thinking, Feather. Alert the crew. We're being boarded. All right, so we are about to be attacked. We've got squids on the ship. And let's see who else is going to join the party. So our rally command here is how we're going to direct our guards. I don't know where these enemies are going to be coming from. That squid just inflated quite a bit. Fight off the attackers. Has anyone landed yet? I haven't seen anyone land yet. Let's go ahead and turn this to full speed. All right, here they come. Pirate in a suit. There he is. See where they land. They are coming here, so we're going to go ahead and set our rally point right here at the door and everyone's gonna get the hell out of the way and they are fighting so they knocked out one where'd that other guy go I think he went up or did he go down he must have went down Is he down here he's down here in storage um, but let's go ahead and wait for this next guy to come in nope he's scattered so we're gonna send he's coming up he's coming up let's see if he gets off here all right guards oh you just let him walk by are they coming over here now? So let's go ahead and uh, move our guards over there. Or did they take off? I think those pirates are taking off. We were able to kill one of them. So that's good. Did we survive the attack? Or where, are they coming back? I guess we uh, survived the attack. The Rungorian threat. The attacking forces have been defeated, sir. Hot diggity indeed. Sir, some of the crew had a good look at them at during the attack. These things, they aren't civilian. What are you saying? That unless one of the other station crews have gotten incredibly pale skinned and grown another whole eye in the middle of their forehead, I think we may have just made first contact, Captain. It would seem I owe a hundred credits to one Lieutenant Commander Blight. Captain? Bar bet I once made back on Savin. Not just a hypothetical now, and they weren't friendly as the bet turns out. I might laugh about that much later when we aren't still sharing space with whatever they were. There seems to be more purpose to their attack than just mere hostility too, Captain. They were seen going into our cargo storage that might have made us their first victims and install our act of piracy in the civilian history, sir. I could, uh, I could think of better things to do in the record books for... Wow, I could think of better things to be in the record books for there we go that makes sense so we're in hostile space then we didn't plan for this tooth one we need some means of defending ourselves agreed captain the science wing already has some ideas on that front but says the station is going to need a more robust power system to support that kind of hardware their advice was that if you have them research advanced power and then advanced medically it would put some interesting defensive positions on the table i'll talk to them right after this We'll want to address it as soon as possible. No telling the dangerous Rangor is now. We might just gotten lucky this time. Agree, I'll go speak with research right now. All right, so it sounds like we're going to get a research some advanced power and advanced laser weapons. So let's go ahead and put Vacuum back on as chef because we need to make sure he's making those meals for us. And Halibut back on as our scientist to keep research chugging along nicely. Body armor is started. So let's go find advanced power. 200 allows the construction of transformers to convert power into advanced power used in more advanced technologies. Okay. Um, so we got the solar panels expanded. So that's good. How much power are we producing? 100 and, see that says 150 kilowatt hours. All right. So we got quite a bit to do we need to expand i want to expand out over here so we can get more docking i would like to definitely get that advanced power so we can get more laser weapons going uh let's make sure we go ahead and unlock unload the finch they did not bring anything back that's okay so let's go to map and see can we go explore anything else let's go ahead and have them we'll go have the finch explore over here on ad1 Go ahead and scout that. Let's see if we can find anything over there. I'd be interested to see what they took from their resource pile. It's hard to tell. Maybe they took some biomass or some uh, fish and vegetables since we have plenty of that. Actually, did they take our computer cores? Yeah, we got three. Okay, so we'll let body armor finish being researched since we are now under threat from whatever those were. Let's go to structure, 
and graded hall and come up a floor. Now let's go ahead and expand this out a couple units. Go one more there, and then that will give us uh, some place to put some docking clamps, which will also mean we need to run our fuel lines up there. So fuel, and we'll do that and that, and build it out like that. Perfect. What's a fuel line cost us? One steel, so not that much. All right, let's see what the Lokov Initiative has to trade. Let's go ahead and buy their carbon. And we'll also go ahead and buy their simple and lavish meals. We'll sell them a little bit of fish and some vegetables as well. Scout ship. The scout ship, the finch, scoured through the wreckage of an abandoned meeple ship. There was nothing noteworthy to salvage except for general electronics and materials from the wreckage itself. They took what they could. All right, so we were able to get a little bit from that infection. Halbert's wounds have become infected, and we're in health conditions, and a lot of distress it's not dealt with. All right, so that means we need to assign another doctor for Halbert. Uh, so now we've got to find someone that has a decent doctor skill. Um, do, do, do. Okay, Loophole, we're going to assign you to a doctor for just a second so he can heal Halbert and make sure everyone else is good to go. Um, okay, we were going to get another asteroid mining ice and feldspar, feldspar. So Toothbud can go start mining that. Make sure we get some resources coming in that way. Hexall should be building this. There he is. He's going to build this little outcropping so we can get some uh, more docking clamps on there. These squids are just interesting. They keep expanding. I don't know what that means. A blue guy there is just walking around. Hello, little blue squid. What are you up to? A lot has happened in this episode. A lot of little things. We've been attacked. We got squids. We did a hyper jump. Just crammed full of stuff. All right, so he brought back some aluminum and some steel, some electronics, advanced electronic, and a battery cell. Very nice. All right, let's see where else we can send him out to explore. There's some stuff way out here. Um, so we can go ahead and scout AE6. Goodbye, the finch. Let's make sure Halbit got healed. Infected gel, severely ablated. All right, so hopefully he gets healed here soon by loophole. I'm assuming he got healed. I mean, we got the medical cabinet there. All right, I'm assuming that means it's healing. I don't, I don't know. Feeling superb at work. Do do do. Nice quarters. Infected gel. So I think it's being healed. Could be wrong. I don't know. We'll see if that little message pops up again and tells us we have a infection going on. All right. So Hexal built that. Uh, let's see. Stranded meeple. A meeple has shown up at the cusp of your station. There is no recollection of who they are or where they came from. They're simply looking for refuge. Let's allow them to stay. They're relieved and quickly begin to make their way. To your airlock um who knows these could be enemies invading us these could be friends let's see who it is question mark they haven't even landed yet so let's see when they land who it is they got decent stats give them that all right uh tooth bud have they made it to the ship yet is that them? Question mark, question mark. He's just hanging out there, huh? Let's, um, let's assign him to a bedroom. I think this one's open. Here we go. Sign quarters to question mark, question mark, question mark. And let's, um, here he comes. So interested to see who this is. Still doesn't have a name, huh? Okay. Um, and we're going to assign him as a refiner, I guess. Refiner, there we go. So that gives us one, two, three refiners. We might take boysenberry, or let's go look at mus muskrat. Muskrat's got a good refiner. And we're going to add muskrat as a chef. So we got two cooks now, so we got plenty of food coming through. 
Scout ship. Uh, secure. Scoured through the. Okay, so it got more resources for, for us. Fantastic. Let's do a little trading of pickle and pickaxe. Um, what do they got over here that might be useful? We can sell them some biomass. We'll sell them some vegetables and fish. We will buy their fine meals and their lavish meals. Buy their carbon off them. Diamonds they're not buying for a lot. Sell them some electronics. And that will be the end of the trading with them. They got 5,000 credits to our only 3,000. Okay. See how it is. All right. So we do need to build another bedroom now that we have uh, brought on triple question mark. Can we rename him? We will call him the stranger. All right. So let's go ahead and build another bedroom right here. And graded hall. And three by three. Perfect. So Hexall will get out there and start building that for us. And the finch is coming back in to dock. And what did it bring us? Some aluminum and steel, some electronics, and some battery cells. And that is it. All right, how are we doing on our research? Body armor is almost done. Not moving as fast as I would hope, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and let's see, those pipes have been built, right? Fuel pipes? Nope, let's go ahead and build fuel pipes down this gantry here. So Hacksaw can start doing that. And then let's also go ahead and put in the docking clamp. And we're going to spin that and put that right. Hmm, I wonder how this is going to work. Because well, it's going to crash into the ship if we build it this way. It's not saying we can't. Um, let's go ahead and build it here and here. And we will also put a bulkhead in right here for safety in case these uh, ever leak some air. Not that we've had issues with these or anything. All right, Finch, let's send you back out to keep finding us some resources. And you can go and scout um, AB2. Why not? Squids are still walking around. I see a lot of them. There they go. They're inflating there. Now, we probably should also put some oxygen over here, I think. I think we're fine when it opens the door. So it did not change this name. Let's make sure we put that back on there. There we go. The stranger, he's got his official name now. And we've got two docking clamps. Uh, have they been built yet? No, Hexel hasn't built them yet. There he goes. He's building those. All right. It is blocked from, oh, it's blocked from above. Okay, so let's go ahead and cancel this one. Cancel that. And then we will salvage this one. And we will have to move them out even further. We have done quite a bit this episode. We made the jump. We were attacked. We had some squids come, and they are still doing their thing. Um, I haven't seen any benefits or detriments from them being here. We're getting ready to keep building this... Uh, docking pier so let's expand that a little bit uh, and the finch is out getting us some resources so that's good build that out to there um so thank you so much for stopping by don't forget to like the video comment both on if you want me to keep making meeple station videos if there's other games you want me to play obviously as i've said before on audio quality video quality commentary quality things like that you know, any feedback I can get is helpful. And don't forget to subscribe to the Tooth and Scrubs gaming channel so you get this great content on time and in an orderly fashion. Thank you so much for stopping by, and we'll see you in the next Meeple Station episode.